Growing up, I've always loved video games, and I remember thinking to myself that it would be cool one day to actually make my own video game. I always saw game development like the super cool project that I really wanted to work on, but I always found myself not actually starting because I did not know where to start really. And now that I finally decided to actually start my own game development journey, I thought it would be cool to make a video about some beginner tips on how to actually start making your very first game. I hope that this video will be helpful for all of you who've been wanting to make games for a while, but then never actually made the decision to start. My very first tip is to give yourself time to learn. See, game development is a combination of a lot of different things. You have coding, there may be some art, the music, the story, how the player interacts with the world that you want to create. And learning all of this, of course, takes time. So start small, just watch tutorials, watch a lot of tutorials over and over about the basics of game development. You don't even need to actually start working on a game to start your own game development journey. Just watch tutorials, try to understand what's going on, and that's already a very good start. Also keep in mind that from the very first day, from the very first tutorial, there may be months before you actually start your own project, and that's totally fine. I myself actually watched a lot of tutorials before actually starting working on any game, and I did find that just by watching passively, I started learning some general ideas on how game development works. My second tip is that you do not need to spend any money at all when you first get started with game development. Everything you need in terms of the game engine and all of the softwares can be found for free. You can find a lot of free tutorials on YouTube about whatever game engine you decide to choose and you can also find all of the softwares that you need for free. In fact, there's a ton of open source softwares that you can use to start working on your own game. For example, you may choose Godot for your game engine of choice since it's completely free. You can do your art in Krita, for example. If you want to work on some sound effects, you can choose Audacity, for example. All of these softwares are all free softwares that can help you in your game development journey. My third tip is to make a very generic game. There's no need to reinvent the wheel here. This is your very first game and it's gonna be crap. <laughs> Just know about it because that's the absolute truth and that's totally fine. The goal here is to learn. It's like making a pie. The very first pie that you try to make, it's not gonna be any good. Just because you don't know what you're supposed to be doing, you're learning. So see, game development, it's the exact same thing. Choose a very generic, very simple game idea, for example, a platformer, and just go for it. This is also gonna be very useful because you want be lost in a lot of complex uh, systems that you do not know how to code yet and you can actually focus on the basics. My fourth tip is to not feel attached to the very first game that you make. As I said already, it's gonna be bad, it's gonna be buggy, and it's not going to be the masterpiece that you'd like, it's not gonna be the game which is gonna define who you are as a person or as a game developer or any of those things. Because see, if you start feeling too attached emotionally to this very first project, you'll feel a lot of pressure on yourself. So just tell yourself that this is a small project, just like making a pie, and you know, if at the end of the day you can actually eat the pie and it's okay to eat, good, but if it turns out that you actually need to throw it away, so be it. My sixth tip is that you don't need to actually do any art or music if you don't feel like it. I know that for me, I actually enjoy doing the art and the music for my game. But remember that the art and music are actually your own thing, and that if you do not see yourself working on those aspects, just go online, you'll find a lot of art and music which is there for you to use for your own project. There's definitely nothing wrong about it. You can create an awesome game by using some art assets that other people worked on. There are a lot of artists and musicians out there who will be glad that game 
developers actually make game out of the art that they created. Also remember that we have a pretty cool community and you can always find other people who can work with you and maybe you can team up with an artist, you can team up with a musician so that you can work on developing the game from a code standpoint and then you as a team can all work on the game together to make something nice. My next tip is to make daily progress no matter how small it is. See, progress is always progress and even though we have this idea that when you are so inspired you need to spend hours upon hours grinding your game the truth is is that if you only work a little bit on the game every day at the end of the week at the end of the month you'll end up having done a lot of work just push yourself to work on the game 20 30 minutes a day you can do it in the morning you can do it at night and then when you have more time let's say during the weekend then you can work for like two three hours but the idea here is just to make small progress. My next tip is to be ready to deal with errors and bugs. Getting errors in game development actually means that you are trying. If you don't get any errors, it means that you're not trying hard enough. Bugs are totally fine, it means that you are still learning and since this is your very first game, you're gonna have a lot of bugs. And just get used to them to look for help within the help manual of the game engine that you're using, for example. You can get some help online, on communities, you may find a Discord server for the software that you're using and you could get some help there. The most important thing here is to not lose motivation just because you have a lot of bugs. If you know in advance that there is going to be a lot of bugs, you can already start dealing with them from a psychological <laughs> point of view. My next step is to back up your project on GitHub. Now listen, this is something that I actually did only a month ago, I wanna say. So for the first months of the game development for my game, I actually did not have the project backed up on GitHub. And what happened is that one day my computer almost took fire and I was legit afraid that I was gonna lose everything and then I realized that I should have backed my project from day one. Listen, it takes literally five minutes to go on GitHub, create an account so that it syncs your project on the GitHub server. Just do it from day one, it's super easy to do. You will thank me if something happens to your project. The next tip is to finish the project no matter how buggy, how bad you think it is. See, your very first game doesn't need to be long, doesn't need to be complex, doesn't need to be original, but it's very important that you actually get to a point where you can see that this small project is finished so that you can move on to something else and you actually feel this accomplishment of having finished a game. So for example, you could make a platformer about a little guy who can only jump and who has to collect coins you could make five levels and if you finish the five levels the game is over done remember this is your first crap game you just want to learn from it and to get done with it at some point my next tip is that if your game can be played for more than five minutes just be super proud of yourself because you made it so i've already said it a couple of times but this very first game it is going to be bad and remember that in general, people do not play games, bad games especially, for more than a couple of minutes. So if you can manage to have someone play this game for more than five, or if you can actually manage to have a game which lasts more than five minutes, that's already a very big accomplishment. So just be proud of yourself and get yourself some treats or something. My last tip is that it's never too late to start. See, I'm getting closer to 30 years old and the closer I get to 30 years old, the more I tell myself that there is no time to waste. Um, time just goes by so fast. I feel that I've been telling myself to make games ever since I was probably 20 and now I'm 30, I better start working on this. So no matter if you're 15 or 25 or 35 or 45, if you actually got this late into this video about how to make your very first game, it means that you truly are interested in making your own game. So just go for it. Seriously, today you could start watching some tutorials, you could start downloading a free game engine and see just a little bit how it works. 
and in a couple of months you can already have your very first crap project so these were my tips guys i hope you found them useful please let me know in a comment down below if you have already started working on your own game do you plan on working on it in 2020 just feel free to share that um down below also i wanted to tell you that if you feel like supporting the channel i set up a ko-fi page uh in case you'd like to uh, send a coffee over here i've been working on these videos for free during my free time and you know i would highly appreciate if some of you guys feel like um sending a coffee over here and with that being said i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful day and go for it <laughs> go start your own project and yeah i'll see you in my next video